Hello and welcome back to Serious About Salvage and another video and another new car. Um, before we dive in, just a quick one, we're really, really, really close to 20,000 subscribers and I am still going to give away that super capacitor jump pack. So if you're not already subscribed, get that subscribe button pressed, get over that 20,000 and we'll do the giveaway. <coughs> anyway, right, another new car, little Kia Rio. Um, just a Kia Rio 1, I think, this, so basic spec. Um, not bad damage, going to be quite an easy fix, I'm hoping. So I'll spin round and we'll have a look. <coughs> yes, another white car. <laughs> this is another one of the three. Um, that I bought all, well, they're all here, aren't they? The Burtmobile, the Insignia, and the Kia Rio. Um, so right, this is literally the extent of the damage, as you can see. Now, I did do a video on this as well, um, which I mentioned in another video. It was one of the first videos I did with the head mounts. I wasn't happy with how it came out. So when I actually purchased this vehicle, there was a wing on it. It was bent. The driver's front wheel was pushed back a bit. So in that video, we basically stripped it to this point and replaced the bottom arm. Um, that seems to have brought the wheel forward to where it should, it should be, but until the wing's on, <coughs> I'm not replacing any more parts yet, um, so we can see how it all lines up. So, I'm not, I think <coughs> everything's pretty good, everything's okay, the only problem we've got is this wing mount. Now on these keys, they are um, welded to the inner wing. Now even though it looks pretty bad at the moment, the inner wing itself is fine, the structure, it's just, you know, where the, where the folds are, where the, you know, the flat pieces are, outside the box section. They're a little bit bent and misshaped, but we can straighten all them up. But what we're going to have to do is, we're going to have to drill out all the spot welds. There's one there, one there, um, there's some underneath. Get this mount off, off, because it's, it's done, it's rubbish. Straighten up all the bits behind, and then... I have got another mount that we're going to weld back on. <coughs> oh, so that is the plan. Um, <coughs> which way does it go? I was like that. So that's literally how it should be. Something like, so you can see how bad it is, you know. It's mullered. Uh, so that's going to go on there. We're going to have to clean it up and paint it. It's the best one I could get. Trust me, I tried. <coughs> I've got a wing in colour. Um, we've got a washer bottle for it. I've even gone and bought another crash bar because of the end of it there. It's all mulled up. Um, I decided I wasn't going to replace the front panel. It's got a bit of damage just on this. Again, it's just a bit of steel that, falls, that goes past the mounting points. I will straighten it back up, try and tidy it up a little bit, but I'm not going to replace the whole front panel for that. It does nothing that little bit. Um, that's going to be a, a, a fixing for the headlight, I would have thought. We've got an headlight, we've got a bumper, we've got a splash guard. The bumper is at paint at the minute because it wasn't good enough condition. So the plan is, in this video, to get this bumper off, we're going to swap over the crash bar. Um, and do as much as we can, really. I'd like to get that new mount on. <coughs> Just see how far we can get without the bumper. The wing mirror cap is at the paint shop because that's what I'm using to try and get a colour match. Because the paint cord on this car, um, is it on this side, I think it is, is in um, Korean. So I don't know what that says. If anyone knows Korean, <laughs> what's that paint code? Because I don't know. Uh, we've got a bit of mould inside. It's nothing bad, it's just surface. It's because it's been sat, it's got damp, so need to deal with that as well at some point. But the car is a run and drive. It's the 1.25 petrol. Um, there's a key. It starts up, no problem. Great, oh, 75,000 miles, so not too bad. Uh, like I said, quite a basic one, no, no aircon. Um, 
they were, McDonald's fan by the looks of it. No paperwork. Uh, and the fuel gauge doesn't work. So we need to look at that as well. But it's not bad really. It's a nice little car. It was cheap enough. So um, what was it? If I've got the paperwork here, one minute. Let's have a look. Uh, excuse me. Out the door, 1250. Yeah, out the door, 1250. £1,060 hammer price, I think. Out the door, 1250, not too bad. Cheap little running around for someone, hopefully. <clears throat> right, so let's let's get on, get this bumper off. Um, there's not much to them. This size gone anyway. Got little plastic push fits. One, two, three. I'll have to undo them two as well. Four, five. Doesn't seem to be much holding the bumper on back here, except for one ten mil bolt. So <clears throat> probably do this doable this with one hand. I'll have a go. I don't know if you can tell, but this front bumper's obviously been painted. Well, I don't know why it's. You never know why it's. In fact, yeah, as you can see, this bumper's been painted. Look in there. It's had paint before this. But yeah, and yeah, it's a mile out. Hopefully, the new one is a better match. It's just that one 10mm bolt there. I think. Oh, maybe there's another one under there. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Um, but yeah, then there's, there's these little push fit plastics, like I said. And it should come off. There's no spot lights or anything on this, no crash sensors. I'll never go at that. <sighs> now, there must be another one up, 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 you know, in there somewhere. So I'll get that undone. Um, we'll whip the bumper off. And we'll come back for another look. Okay, so the bumper is off. Um, under that little trim on the top, on the leading edge, there is actually another four that hold the bumper straight to this. So you're going to take that off first and then remove the other four. Um, but pretty easy. Now, although I wanted to try and keep the front panel, unfortunately I can't because even though that little bit of metal is doing nothing, there's supposed to be some more plastic that comes out here. Oh, no, not that big. But it holds the bumper bracket under the headlight. So if you look on this side, this bracket here, it, it's got a bolt there. And it's this bolt, this little bit of plastic here. It goes up a little bit. That's gone on the other side. So... It wouldn't um, secure the bumper bracket properly. And I haven't got the bumper bracket either. Not that matters, I can get a bumper bracket. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to get a front panel. So there's not much point changing this crash bar right now. Uh, I'll have to get a, bump, I'll have to get a, a front panel first. <coughs> so there's still other things we can do. Still got this... Um, Washer bottle it needs to go in there, somewhere around here. And then it's this, this wing bracket, a wing. That's the most important part, really. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, what the. This, this washer bottle is exactly the same as the one I did just, just the other week on the Kia Seed, I think it was. Was it? Mounts the exact same way. It's two 10mm bolts there and there. Into that and that. And then you've got this um, Phillips head. One plug, two plastic pipes. Simple as that. So I'm going to get this on. And then we'll move on and attempt to try to do something with this, this wing bracket. <coughs> right. So wash your bottles in, and I've just straightened this mount up a little bit so it get to the spot welds. So it's just a case of drilling them out now. That's one.
two. I think there's four. Let's try and remember that way. Three and four there. I think. How many did I drill out of this? I drilled out five. There's that one there. No. Let's see what happens. So it might be one somewhere. Yeah, uh, how was there? I might, yeah, there was one there, I just missed it. But it's come off. And that's the backing plate that we need to straighten up as much as possible. Um, but it doesn't look too bad there now, really. <coughs> There's the other spot well that I was missed. So all we need to do is get this vertical, bring the bottom out, and that's it. Like I said, there's not to the actual box session. Box session's fine. It's just the actual little bit of a fold that holds the wing bracket. And honestly, these, so there's no strength to these. You, you can move these around no problem. See? No problem at all. It's a pair of big pliers. One hand, left hand. They soon, uh, they soon come back. It'll take me a little bit of titivating to get this all straight, so. I'll have a tinker with it and um, see where we can get, see what I can make it look like. All right, so it seems to be going pretty well. Um, I've got all the steel work back into its kind of position. Um, obviously we're gonna paint it, so don't worry about that. It all kind of lines up roughly. Now, the spot welts aren't gonna line, line up because they put them anywhere, but the outline on the back of it is the same as it matches, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's at roughly the right place. Now I haven't got a welder, <coughs> so I can't spot weld it back on, so I'm thinking of bolting it back on. So now at the end of the day, wing, wings are bolted on. This is only holding the wing. It's not taking any load, any force, and spot welds. And anyway, the steel that it's fixed to isn't even strong anyway. So I can't see an issue of putting a couple of bolts in it, so I'm gonna do that and see how it goes. Um, and then, yeah, we need to clean it up. That's going to need straightening a little bit. I think that's a bent back in a little bit. And that's bent in a little bit. Straighten it up, paint it, and then it's going to be offering up the wing. And then we'll have to manipulate this bracket to suit the wing. It's the only, only option. <clears throat> but I think it's going to come out okay. It's going to work. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to drill straight down there now. Bolt there. I'm going to drill in there and bolt there. And I think the two will do it. Alright, there we go. Replaced um, wing mount bracket. It's had four layers of paint. Um, I rubbed it down as well with a bit of a wire brush. And um, yeah, I think it's come out fine. And yes, it is held on by three bolts. But trust me, that is stronger than them spot welds. Way stronger. I'm more than happy with it. More than happy. Um, so, this is our replacement wing, which we now need to try and get in there. It's, it, it's great condition, but it ain't got the wing bra bracket, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to get a wing bracket. Um, so, all there is to do is to try and get it on, and hopefully that, that wing mounts roughly about there. I have kind of offered it up, and it looks good, but, um, yeah, we can manipulate it a little bit, it's not an issue <coughs> to get everything to line up. Um, so, let's, let's just get that wing on. Let's see if I can try and do it on camera. It is a bugger to get on this wing. There's a lot of mounts, a lot of points where it fixes to the body. I'll run through them quickly. 
There's one under the scuttle there. There's one behind the glass there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one underneath. And then there's two there and there's two there. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine points this wing fixes on. <coughs> so there can be a pig to get on. Um, on your own anyway. The worst part is this one behind the bloody uh, glass. It's absolutely terrible to get on. As well as trying to line up the others. Alright, so there we are. It's all lined up really well, actually. Nice panel gap between the door and the wing. Nice and even, top to bottom. That's nice. Bonnet gap. Very similar if not the same as this side. Um, so, hopefully when that bumper comes back painted, <clears throat> and obviously we need a front panel, don't we? Front panel and a wing bracket. Um, not wing bracket, bumper bracket. And the front bumper bracket. But yeah, basically it's bumper, headlight, splash guard, and probably they're gonna leave B for now. Uh, so there's really only one other issue we, could be, we can look at today and that's this fuel gauge issue now when I collected it obviously or when it got dropped off I noticed the fuel gauge it obviously resets itself but it, it's it's rock bottom it's not even moving and I have put five litres in since just to see if it moved did nothing so it doesn't even budge so that gauge isn't working at all now, as far as I'm aware, most fuel tanks you can get access to under the back seats. Uh, so, I suspect this is, is that it? that's all I'm getting. <coughs> it's the same case, so it's going to be under that black cap. I think the first thing is to do, make sure the float's not stuck and just have a look how much fuel's in there. Um, so, I'm going to get a screwdriver, prise up that flap because it looks like it's bonded down. There's going to be a, another cap under there that's screwed to the fuel tank, I suspect. And then obviously under that fuel, under that cap is going to be the float, um, the pump, and a few, probably other few bits and pieces. Uh, so I'm going to do that now. And um, is there any way I can get you in there? Problem is I've got to hold the seat up, so not really. So I'm, I'm gonna have to show you what I find. Okay, okay. Um, I think well, there doesn't seem to be a problem. Put it that way. That's the float. That's the the pump. This little arm is the float. Um, I spilt loads of fuel down there, and it absolutely stinks. But anyway, <coughs> with the ignition on, as you can see right now. The gauge is empty, nothing. If I lift this float, and watch the gauge, off it goes. So there's nothing wrong with the with the um, with the float. Perhaps perhaps it was just stuck or something, and taking it out has loosened it off. So uh, and there is a bit of fuel in there. What says a great deal? Um, in fact, it's it's pretty damn empty to be honest with you, isn't it? There's not a lot in there at all, so perhaps that's why it wasn't wasn't um, showing up. So uh, I'm just going to put that back together now, and expect that when I fill it with fuel, it's going to start registering again, and there isn't an issue, basically. So there isn't anything else we can do now today on this car. Oh, I've got a door open because it stinks of fuel. Um, so, we need a front panel. Then we need a wing to bumper mount. We need a um, front panel to bumper mount. And then when the bumper comes back from paint, I've got a new centre grill come in because it's a crack there. Can reuse the top grill, reuse the badge, re reuse the passenger grill. And I've got a driver's grill coming as well. And the form in the back is fine. The crash absorber, so we've got then the splash guard and bumper on, and it's done. Good clean up. 
as long as we're all happy with the suspension, um, I suppose if we turn, turn the steering wheel a bit, ow, ah, smashed my shin on the sill. Should get an idea now of it. Obviously, without the bumper on, it's not right easy. But the best best get best way is to measure just like that. And yeah, it's pretty much the same. But yeah, we'll wait until the bumper's on, and then we'll have another look at it and decide. What if it needs anything else? So there we go. Um, yeah, done and dusted for today. I think one more video on it once the bumper's here. We'll put all the last few bits on, clean it up, <clears throat> and then barring uh, a test drive to see how it um, how it drives, it'll be another one thereabouts, won't it? Uh, I can't remember MOT status of this car. Um, can't remember, don't know, I need to check please check anyway, thank you as always for watching always massively appreciated um, I'll see you in the next one cheers